Hey guys, how are you all? Welcome to videos dk.live, and let's understand today, what videos dk.live is offering. If I give you the basic introduction of the company, it's a startup and provides amazing software development kits to developers. In brief, you just give us the idea of a video feature you want to build in your product and boom, we can help. Frankly, it's thrilling me out. So, let's move. Here are the major 5 products offered by videos dk.live, this SDK stands for Software Development Kit, practically each of this is a set of tools to build such feature in your own infrastructure, first one is Video Conference SDK, with which you can develop your inbuilt video calling functionality. I am not going into details at the moment. Second one is Interactive Live Stream SDK, it's a real-time broadcasting. Let's say, if you are broadcasting to 1000 people, and in a Q&A session, you want to give mic access to a particular audience member, you can do it with this SDK. This is just one use case, I will explain it in detail later. The third one is standard live stream SDK, which is like a YouTube or Facebook live kind of feature. That's really cool. The fourth one is video on demand SDK, with which you can host a pre-recorded video on your platform. And the last one is text chat SDK, which is an additional feature when you use any of these above mentioned SDKs. Not spending the time, let's understand these things practically. E-learning solutions, wow! These all tools can be built with SDKs, Zoom-like video calling function can be developed, Miro kind of whiteboard function. Udemy, Coursera and edX are hosting video courses on their platform, anyone can be the tutor over there and sell their pre-recorded course. So, if you want to build something like this, yup we can help. YouTube, ah. It's my favorite tool. Yeah, technically you can make your own community of your niche, anyone can become a creator, people can watch them, and you can become owner of such a platform, on Academy, we all know it. They are doing amazing, by teaching through live and recorded courses. Yay, virtual events. Covid has taught us that wonderful events can be hosted virtually as well. Here are some great tools which are doing that, you must check them out. Airmeet, Hubilo, and Hopin are gaining popularity with audio plus video events, and how can we forget Clubhouse, where Elon Musk appeared in audio channel. Zoom and CrowdCompass are saving a lot of time spent in organizing events like, sending email reminders, gathering attendees data, removing bad words from chatbox, and many more things. Telehealth, COVID has literally forced us to think twice before visiting any clinic or hospital, and these apps are taking advantage of this fear. Practo, Doctor on Demand, Talkspace, MD Live, Amwell and SR Health, these all apps are doing amazing jobs. All you need to do is just enter your diagnosis in their app and select a doctor from whom you want to have consultation and you can schedule a call. Honestly, there's huge scope in this field. I must advise you to build this kind of tool with videos dk.live, you can solve the actual problem of your audience. Oh my god. I love this part. You must have observed that the majority of the viral games in the market have either audio or video room functions, you can play the game along with your friend either in 2D, 3D or VR games. Call of Duty, my favorite PUBG, and even GTA can be added in this list. What is PUBG? It's a specified version of GTA which is handy on your mobile, and still you can play in real time with friends. I remember, we used to go to Cybercafe daily to play these games with friends. Audio rooms in, Words with Friends, Ludo King and Bygo Live have given them an edge in the gaming industry. Man. I love this thing, we are 5 best friends and 2 of them are in Canada, one in Australia and the other 2 in different states in India. We love to watch movies, shows, cricket matches together, and those things can be built with our SDKs. Vibe, a new version of Hike, Amazon Prime, Teleparty, Facebook Watch, these apps are providing such functions. Even with Rave, I can see my local videos in sync with my friends abroad. OTT platforms are the best to watch amazing movies, my Saturday Sundays are always being spent on Prime Video and Netflix, it always depends on how much best content you can deliver to your audience. But for that, you need to build a video hosting feature, right? Here's where videos dk.live comes into the picture. Now as a developer or user, your question should be okay. So, how to start, let me answer, go on videos dk.live website. It looks like this and click on the Start Project button. 
Log in with Google or GitHub ID. Verify yourself. Generate API key from the dashboard and refer to our simple but advanced documentation. We have sample codes also available for each of such projects in GitHub open source. So, what are you waiting for? Come on man, go and start implementing your idea, it costs nothing, and for queries write us anytime here in email, or just WhatsApp us. Would be happy to help. In the next videos, I am going to focus on the prices of each SDK. Stay tuned. Cheers.